Hello everyone, Ranjita here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new series of video tutorials. This series is about those moments as a crafter when you do not have a particular supply in hand at that moment or you just ran out of stock or either the supply is too expensive for you to afford. So in this series, I will be talking about DIY craft supplies and today we will be learning how to make your own anti-static embossing bag. So let's get started. For this DIY, all you need is a socks, a hair tie or a rubber band and some baby powder. If you do not have baby powder handy, you can use cornstarch also. I have baby powder so I am using it for today's DIY. I have washed up the socks and now I am opening it up to make a cup out of the socks. And all I am doing is emptying a good bulk of baby powder into the socks. It's a very 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 quick easy DIY and it works perfectly just like the store bought embossing bags. So I am emptying a good amount of uh, baby powder into the socks. Once I have enough amount of baby powder in my socks, I am uh, carefully bringing all the powder to the bottom and then I am wrapping up the loose ends with a hair tie. Alternatively, you can also cut the excess amount of socks and stitch it up but I thought uh, just fastening it with a hair tie would do. Also this way I can reuse my socks when my powder is over. So all I'm doing is I'm tightly fastening it with a hair tie and my DIY anti-static embossing pouch is all ready. So let's give it a test. So I'm taking a piece of black cardstock and I'm dusting this powder onto the black cardstock so that it removes whatever static is there on the back black cardstock. And now I'm stamping it with a sentiment. To check if this is really working, I uh, chose a very fine sentiment to know if the anti-static pouch is really working. So I'm stamping the sentiment with some Versafine Versamark ink. Once I'm done stamping it, all I will be doing is I'm uh, pouring some gold embossing powder onto the stamped image. I'm placing a piece of uh, printer paper underneath my cardstock. I folded it in half. Now I'm pouring some gold uh, embossing powder onto my stamped image. Since I folded my printer paper, it's very easy to collect back the excess embossing powder back into my container. Now I'm gently tapping off the excess powder, giving it a light tap. As you can see, there is absolutely no excess embossing powder on our cardstock and our DIY embossing pouch is working perfectly. I'm now collecting the embossing powder back into my container. I've heated my heat gun and now I'm heating the sentiment to see how it really works. As you can see, there is no excess embossing powder sticking on the cardstock. And there is perfect embossing. I really, really liked how this DIY turned out. 
and I hope you will definitely give this easy quick DIY a try. Here you can see our gold embossed sentiment perfectly stamped and embossed. I hope you like this video and you will definitely give this DIY a try. I will be coming up with more such fun DIY craft supply video tutorials. Thank you so much for stopping by. Also, consider subscribing to my channel and tap on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Also, do follow me on my social media where I share my card and craft making tutorials and photos with you. Thank you.